Hello YouTube, welcome back to this week's video. This is 2E0IQJ. So this radio here is a KYT8900D. It's a blue sky C. And I was asked in a previous video how I got my call sign on the screen and uh, how I got my call sign to display on the main display um, when it was in VFA mode or memory mode. So in this video I'm going to show you how I got my call sign across the screen and how I get the call sign to stay on the radio when I'm in VFA mode and memory mode. So let's take a closer look. Okay, so those who don't know what it looks like when you turn the radio on, we can switch it on with the power button, press and hold it. It says 2E0IQJ. At the bottom there we've got GB3VH, and you've got AL, cube 2 meters, cube 70 sems, and there is the static message, 2E0IQJ. And I'm going to show you how to put that onto this radio using Chirp in this video. Okay, so we're on the computer, and let's run the Chirp software. We're going to click on radio. Download from radio, and the vendor is a QYT, model number is KT8900D. Going to press OK, press Yes, and we're going to press OK again. And at this point, it's going to say cloning from radio. It's reading all the data off the radio. OK, once it's read the radio, it displays a list of repeaters in there. You see they've got AH, AL, AU, AV, AW, and so on. Once you've got your list of repeaters on the screen, if you click on settings, and here you've got, let's get rid of this, basic settings, advanced settings, and other settings. So if you click on advanced settings, and you've got power on message, line one, two, three, four, five, and six. On line three, I've got 2E0 IQJ. On line four, I've got my name. You can add whatever you want there. You can add your call sign, your name, your name, your call sign. You could call it KYT8900D or KYT8900D, uh, dual band radio, two stroke 70. You can call it whatever you want in these lines here. And on the main screen, when you've got your VFI memory mode, you can leave a message there. So it's a static message. So I've got my call sign. So 2E0IQJ. Are you happy with all your stuff on the screen there and how you, how you like it? If you just press on radio, press on upload to radio. Press OK. It's telling you now to turn off the radio, connect your interface cable, turn on the radio, and do the upload to the radio. So we're going to press OK. We're going to press Yes. Again, it's going to say clone this radio. It's going to write all that data back to the radio. There we go. The radio has now rebooted. And when you reboot the radio, it should all appear on the screen with the text you've inserted there, there, and there, and then the other line. So there we go, the KYT8900D dual band 2 and 70 uh, transceiver. I showed you how to put the call sign on the screen, your name on the screen. I also showed you how to make a static call sign on the radio as and when you're in VFO mode or memory mode. And people ask how do I do that? Well, well, I use the Chirp software. I can't use the original software that came with it because it won't work on my computer. So I'm a Macintosh user and I'm also a Linux user. I'm pleased to say that I've been Microsoft free now for about 16 years. No need for the Windows box anymore. And when that Windows 11 comes out, it's not going to work on most computers because you need a TPM 2.0 chip or something. I ain't got to worry about that because I'm a Linux user. And the good thing about using Linux is when you've got the programming cables, the prolific cables, it doesn't care if it's a fake chipset or not. You just plug it in and away you go. No drivers, no faffing around needed. Anyhow, if you found this video of some use, give it a, a thumbs up. If you don't like the video, the other button seems to work too. But as always, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. This is 2E0IQJ73.